Welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we're going to take a deeper look at some unboxings that we did earlier in the week and uh, take a more of a holistic look at the shoes uh, in general. Uh, so we're going to start with these, the green marbled shell from Meerman. Uh, a couple of pictures, uh, both uh, before wear and then during wear, so you can see that. And then a quick recap of the unboxing. Uh, very short, 30 second is what I'm trying to go for here. As we, as we look at this boot, this is a field boot. This is in the original manner with a triple stitch on the toe cap uh, instead of an actual physical cap. Uh, Enzo Bonafe does a cap, but uh, you know Edward Green does not. Uh, this, uh, this leather is uh, really exciting. It's a shell cordovan from Roccato Tannery in Italy. And uh, they have this uh, shaved process where they actually, um, while they're coloring it, after the coloring process is complete, they actually run a blade over it, which creates this color variation. It's very exciting. Uh, it is not unique to Ricardo. Horween does this as well, and I have another pair of uh, boots from them that does that. So moving on, now we have an unnamed tannery with a waxy shell cordovan, which is exciting. It's different. It's the first pair I've ever had with that. You can see an up-close look of it here. It looks a lot like from XL. And as we do the quick review of the unboxing here, um, this is on Meerman's Ultraflex system, which is new. Um, it has an insole. Uh, the insole is very hard. And um, candidly, it may be just a smidge too tight. Um, so I'm probably going to go with a thinner insole. Um, my second wear with these, I actually wore no insole at all. Uh, they feel fine, um, but there is a little bit of uh, additional room above my foot. And so the insole does make sense. Um, and it's not really a finished sole underneath, um, which uh, is unfortunate. So um, that's something I'm going to have to do. Now moving on, the, uh, the next shoe is this uh, Snuff Waxy Kudu loafer. And uh, these, I got these in a 9.5. I normally wear a 10 in Meerman, and I went to a 9.5. I should have gone to a 9. Um, they just run a little bit on the long side. Um, they are unlined, and... Um, I don't know that I could tolerate the additional width, but the um, lack of length would probably be helpful for me. So that's something that I have to work with. Um, I do get a little bit of heel slip with these, uh, more than on the trial shoes, which um, you know I just did a video on from St. Crispin's. So um, something to uh, keep in mind there. And now the uh, next one we have is the first pair from Faccia. This is the El Cid. And uh, this is just a beautiful boot in this gorgeous Horween hatch grain. And he had Samir do a patina on this to spice it up a little bit, make it a little bit nicer. Um, the patina itself looks very similar to a pair that I have from Gaziano and Gerling in Hatch Grain. Uh, it's a different boot. Those are split toes, um, not an Oxford. They're a derby. So um, uh, I do think it'll make sense to, to kind of compare them just because the leather's the same. Although, you know, this is a hand welted shoe. Um, and, you know, even, um, you know, the owner of Faccia said that, you know, this is not going to compare to Gaziano and Gerling from a quality standpoint, uh, but he is excited to see the comparison as well. And that's part of what I like to do on the channel is compare things that are normally not compared. Uh, but this is a very well-made, well-structured boot, um, and I am looking forward to wearing it. I have not worn it yet. So, so this next shoe is from Vachia also, but this is um, from Yearn. This is actually the shoe that inspired me to make this and it was really the patina of this that really intrigued me uh, see how it's kind of a reverse patina where it's white up at the top um, then it is um, dark below uh, which is kind of inverted compared to the way it is so uh, I struck a deal with Vachi to come up with something similar I, I shared that picture with them for inspiration obviously this is a totally different shoe Oxford versus Derby uh, completely different but I, as I as I came through this what um, I'm excited about is that Vachi was able to take my vision of of turning this um you know a spiral hole cut into a similar type uh of thing now it's a little bit brighter as you can see and um i'm i may tone down the colors a little bit as i as i continue to wear it um candidly i don't have any bright blue uh polish so it's going to be dark anyway so we go all the way from indonesia back to spain and in Spain, I worked with a company called Norman Vilalta uh, to commission this shoe. It was part of a GMTO that they were doing earlier in the year. And it's a beautiful shoe. 
Uh, it's a beautiful maker. Uh, it's Goodyear welted instead of um, hand welted. Uh, so different process, but much higher end. Um, and it is really um, just a, a gorgeous example of craft um, and, and what can be done. Uh, the finishing on this is just absolutely exquisite. It's also a single eyelet derby, which I'm hereby christening my pirate derby for one eye, like an eye patch. And I, uh, I just really, I, I love this shoe. Uh, it feels great on. Uh, I look forward to sharing some pictures with you later. So as we uh, uh, leave Spain, we go back to the UK and we look at these Grensens, uh, the Roseberry, which is made in uh, Northampton. Uh, this is a triple welt, plain toe derby. Uh, it is in this very unique color, uh, which is light, <laughs> really light, as you can see in the video here. Um, and, uh, but it has this gorgeous triple weld, um, which is like a weld on top of a weld with a split reverse weld coming up. And it just really has a very nice look to it. Uh, kind of a poor man's Norvegese, uh, but it's, um, uh, cause the look is similar, but you know, obviously the construction and the, and the way that this is put together is absolutely unique and, uh, really something that's cool to add to the collection. Um, I chose to go with a plain toe shoe instead of you know the the brogues which are, are more common in the line um and uh you know this is a a, a good double sole really thick um and uh really excited to try grenson and see what it's all about